This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to this week's edition of The Pit Stop, where we, we sim racers, we are just here to hang out and talk about what's going on in the wonderful world of sim racing. Uh, lots of racing news going on, a few updates going on, some sim pit stuff going on, all sorts of good stuff, and I hope this is a great kickoff for your weekend, as it is Friday. So my weekend begins today, or at least this evening. Since we knock off for work, we'll be in full race mode for the full weekend, and I hope the same for you. So what is going on in sim racing this week? Uh, starting off in iRacing, uh, Logan Clampett snapped a 44 race uh, drought. It had been 44 races since one of the best in NASCAR, in iRacing NASCAR, Logan Clampett. Uh, getting to victory lane, but it turns out that he got himself there in the latest race at Atlanta. So congratulations to him. Uh, that should move him up quite a bit in the points. So looking at that race, it was Logan Clampett winning the race at Atlanta over Nick Ottinger with Zach Nichols finishing in third. Looking at the points, Casey Kerwin leading in the points with 116 over Kagan Leahy with 110. And Logan Clampett now finds himself in third place. Um, they're not showing, uh, the wins in this one, because I know, like, Michael Conti and Logan Clampett both have wins. Not sure who else has wins to get themselves into that final tournament, much like the way real-life NASCAR does it. Uh, Sebastian Job returns to the Porsche Tag Heuer Esports Super Cup Winner's Circle with Kanan winning the All-Star Race at Spa. So more winner announcements going on, and there's a shot of Sebastian Job. Uh, he wins the race over Alejandro Sanchez and Maximilian Beneke finishing in third. Looking at the points of the best of the best in the road racing world on iRacing, Josh Rogers leading the way with 435 points, a 99-point lead over Sebastian Job in second with Mitchell DeJong right there behind him in third place. So things are progressing in both of our premier iRacing series. Also looking at iRacing, one thing I did notice when I look at their Twitter page was just how much uh, promo they did for the IndyCar challenge that was going on. Was that just yesterday, I believe? Um, so the IndyCar, the NIT, NTT IndyCar Invitational, I guess we call it, IndyCar Challenge, uh, went on. Anyway, there was a million posts. So I think of the two races we just talked about, the road and the NASCAR championship with the guys we know, um, the Logan Clampets and the Josh Rogers and whatnot. Um, but it was this event that they really promoted. So it, it, it was at Montreal, and it started way back here 19 hours ago. All of this posting is regarding... Uh, that race going on to Alex Palou winning the race uh, and some more comments. So Alex Palou wins the uh, iRacing NTT IndyCar iRacing Challenge Race 1 at Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. I know everyone, Villeneuve, anyone who wants to ever correct me, not just mock me, uh, feel free to send me the proper enunciation. I've, I, I, I do find it hilarious as I am known. How known am I for mispronunciation? This known. So known that I have a disclaimer for just these moments. What is funny is the mockery I get without the aid. Where's the help? Where's the help, guys? Hope no one's going to help me be better. Anyway, I've just given you a hard time. Uh, looking at Assetto Corsa, Ferrari Esport posted this, and it was retweeted by the guys at Assetto Corsa. Join us on Twitch. This was yesterday, or two days ago. I'm sorry, three days ago. Join us, Twitch TV, Ferrari Esports. We have something special to reveal. So I went and watched the video, or parts of it, and it was their big media launch video. This is for Ferrari eSport, keep in mind. Oh, the beauty of having Ferrari involved in your team. That's got to be such a great thing. Can you imagine telling your mom you race for Ferrari? Telling your friends you race for Ferrari? Um, anyway, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but we've got the announcer out here telling us what's going on. We show the trophy room, some driving, showing off some of their drivers. Showing off, uh, oh, come on. Oh, we missed it. Trophies? Trophies, more trophies? There we go. Wasn't that, that was Daniel Teniza, I believe, winning the uh, championship. Anyway, so yeah, Ferrari doing a big thing, getting ready for this year's efforts with their team, some of them old uh, returning drivers and some of them new drivers for the Ferrari eSport team. Looking at R-Factor, so we know that they are recently purchased or acquired. 
Uh, and, you know, one of the things we'll be watching for is how does this change the face of our factor moving forward? So some things are the same. So here we are, March 18th. We have a release video or a release post blog regarding the Rome e -pre circuit and some shots of that. That was our thumbnail of the day. Let me take down that disclaimer. We don't need that anymore. Uh, but yeah, we have some shots here of Rome, including this, which was our thumbnail of the day. I thought that was just an absolutely beautiful in-game shot right there. Uh, in addition to that, more update on their competition system blog. This came out two days ago, so they keep adding elements, improvements, changes to the competition system. That hasn't slowed down any, so week 11 of that was some more Q&A. And that's not even it. Uh, still more news. So looking on the 16th, three days ago, uh, Formula E content update March. This is in regards to the Rome and the big race and Hong Kong, Berlin, New York, Formula E test track, uh, and so on. And that, that is the latest from our factor. So plenty going on since that change of ownership. That hasn't slowed them down. If anything, geez, three good posts in one week. Maybe it's even accelerated things a little bit. Looking at their Twitter page, they also have some congratulations going on in the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship. This is our top three from round five of Formula E Accelerate. I don't know what track they were at. Um, it doesn't say. Round five, electric docks. Electric docks track. Erhan Jajowski wins. Nikodem Wisniewski finishing second, and Frederick Rasmussen finishing in third place in that event. Codemasters, also newly acquired by EA Codemasters. This is interesting. This is their main website, not the Twitter or Facebook, but the main website for Codemasters. And this is what I found there this morning. We're down for a little maintenance and should be back shortly. So I wonder, is this maintenance just normal maintenance? Or is this the maintenance... Wow, I turned me off. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry, everybody. Or is this the maintenance that uh, is them actually becoming an EA website? That's what I think is probably going on. We'll find out in shortly, relatively, I would think. Also, uh, Dirt Rally 2.0, talking about the World Series Grand Finals. It was quite a show, and they have a couple of different video links. I didn't get a chance to look at it, but if you want to watch the Grand Finals final showdown, they have two different links here, one for a series recap, and one for broadcast and highlights. So, wait. Hey, I thought this was going to be the uh, recap. Final showdown. Here we are. Uh, yeah, so all these videos. The winning run, final showdown, final showdown, grand finals, grand finals, highlights video. And I believe that's what we're going to find here on our... The highlights link took us to this. So, yeah, here are our videos. Here are the highlights from the rally cross. We're just about ready. We've got a couple of people missing. I can barely hear them. I've got my tea. I'm good. John's good. That's very quiet. We're gonna get ourselves a grid and we'll be underway. No fast forward ability. What if we go to YouTube Direct? There we go. Do you remember six laps and a pass up in the Joker lap? Fantastic. El Tioto sliding just a little bit wide. El Tioto. Ludovic and being passed. By Enzo Nolte's Landers. How did his Landers end up down in P4 as well and taking oh, oh, clips the barrier oh. on the outside? Enzo Nolte's Landers picks up the barrier inside and outside, spins the car, gets <laughs> the cars disappearing. Okay, enough of that for me. <coughs> Forza is asking you, do you want a chance? Actually, it's JR Todd. Want a chance to race against me and my DHL? U.S. teammates Sean Langdon and Ryan Hunter Ray register now for the Forza Motorsport DHL Race the Stars tournament hosted by ESL. This was just posted two days ago, so you should be able to get in on that if you want to go try out some forts at the highest level. It's actually reposted by Ryan Hunter Ray. You could race against Ryan Hunter Ray. Reach the studios. They have a little bit of an update, a small, a couple of small AMS2 updates have been deployed over the last couple days, bringing the game to one version 1.1.2.5 with further improvements as well as the fresh Brazilian stock car that will be raced in the 2021 season. Full change logs available below at Steam. You can check that. Also, as I mentioned, I, I try to remind you guys each and every week, but I do have a link to every topic that we're talking about in the description of the show. So if you would like to follow along, read the story, get more details on your own, you're a Hugh AMS 
2 fan and you want to see the full change log, the link is right there for you to go check out on your own. I'm just letting you know the update happened. You want to know every detail, you go find it yourself. But Race Room also doing an update. This was yesterday. Race Room has been updated. Today's patch brings a lot of improvements, one of them being the addition of power restriction ability for BOP in multiplayer. Uh, we've updated our track packs and added the Eastern track pack, including 10 circuits from Asia and Oceania. Uh, there's the BOP adjustment we are talking about. Uh, did we have something for the, the Eastern tracks? We do not have anything for the Eastern tracks. Sorry about that, you guys. But uh, yeah, 10 track Eastern track pack. Uh, it looks like here we can see this. Here we go. So Mount Panorama. Uh, Burham United International, never raced Burram, never been there. Uh, uh, Dubai Autodromo, Grand Prix Macau, uh, Ninbo International Speed Park, Shanghai Circuit, Suzuka Circuit, Twin Ring Motegi, Zhejiang Circuit, and ZIC. Zuhai? Is that Zuhai? Can't read it. Anyway, so new DLC for Race Room. That's really cool news right there. Wreckfest got another update. This one, the tournament update, Woodland Dash. New tournament, Woodland Dash. We just mentioned that. New free reward car, the Hammerhead RS. We'll play Rated that video. T for team. New routes for Pine Hills Raceway and improvements and bug fixes. I'm going to go ahead and move this music out so we don't ruin our stream. Uh, but yeah, lots going on with Wreckfest. They continue. What? Pine Hills. I thought I saw Pirelli, and I was like, whoa, that would be weird. Oh, look at the giant wing on the Volvo. <laughs> I've raced one of those Volvos in real life. Awesome. Awesome. New stuff for Wreckfest. That's great. Also, an article here from Jalopnik's. The most fun racing game out there just got a big update for Xbox Series X. I gotta, is, that, is that not true? Is that a true statement? Jalopnik says, the most fun racing game out there just got a big update for the series box xbox series x so if you play x rec fest on the series x there is an update that's really cool now let's get back to that statement the most fun racing game out there is that truthful what do you what are your thoughts i'm going to be watching the comments on this video as it plays through right now uh what are your thoughts on this what is the most fun racing game and why don't just blurt out game titles you can do that but you want to really hit a home run with me you tell me why tell me what is the most fun racing game and why i think jalopnik hit the nail on the head and i honestly do think that the most fun racing game is wreckfest congratulations guys at wreckfest because that is a huge accomplishment as much as i am a full simmer uh it doesn't take away from how much i am really a motorsport gamer and fun factor is something that i think is lacking in our pinnacle sims and i'd love them to use the word fun a little more often i really would Pure. I have not talked about Pure. I actually have a little bit of a bone to pick with Pure Rock Crawling. I played this game back in like October of last year, and it was really in need of help. But what I had noticed from doing the news for many years was that they were doing like monthly updates. They're really doing a lot of updates to this game, Pure Rock Crawling. And therefore, despite being disappointed with the title, I did not return it. I, I had stopped playing within the time limit. I could have gotten my money back. I don't feel that the game was worth the money at the time. But it was that constant updates that they were doing that gave me faith. And then they went radio silent. It had been months and months and months since we saw any update at all from them. And then this week, March 13th, they, it's just a small one. Hi, hope you're all doing well. This update brings reworked model of the pickup truck. So all they've really done is reworked the old, that's the old 22R uh, Toyota truck right there. I used to have a Toyota, I used to have a back on mine, not roll bars. Um, this is one of the shorter updates. I'll write more on the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. So it is just nice. Uh, December 21st was the last update we saw from them, by the way. So, uh, Euro Truck. Lots going on. Constantly lots going on at Euro Truck and American Truck Simulator. Just non-stop updates from these guys. Very impressive. Anyway, uh, with the Iberia Portuguese and they've now released Portuguese and Spanish paint jobs pack. So if you'd like a Portuguese or Spanish-inspired paint job on your truck as you drive through the region, you can now do that within the game, which, oh, look at the little windmill. That's cool. Um, anyway, in addition, you'd think that's it. No, that's not it. They're also talking about the new lighting system. So let there be light. 
are 3D engine's approach to representing light and color in scenes and in the rendering buffers that end up being displayed on screen has been established over a decade. Uh, anyway, 250 values. Anyway, here is them showing off some of their new lighting and shading that is being introduced into both ATS and ETS. Look at that. That's great. That's great. Uh, you know, in scenery, for a game like this where you are, for the most part, driving at 55, 75, somewhere in that range of speed, I think scenery and visuals is, is immensely important. You know, uh, we, we think when we're on a racetrack, visuals are super important. Yes, granted they are. And then keep in mind, you are doing 100. A little harder to look at the blades of grass or the falling leaves. Uh, anyway, ATS, ETS, they've done a great job of making this game more and more visually appealing over the years. In addition, for ATS, Texas has been officially announced. We'd seen speculation videos. We knew it was coming. Now we have some screenshots officially from them showing off Texas. And I tell you, I go to Texas. I've been to Texas so many times. I've probably been in Texas 10, 15 times. Uh, ah, 10 times. Um, never seen this part of Texas. <laughs> I've been to Dallas. I've been to Houston. I've been to Fort Worth. Uh, I have not seen rural Texas like this. It's a much more uh, rural state when you get out on the road compared to in the city. Uh, Rick Botech. I just, you know, we're about to look at our rigs for the day, actually. In fact, this is in the wrong spot. Let's move this over right here. Well, let's come back to that. What do we have here? Codemasters. This is an article at Auto Evolution. Codemasters is bringing racing simulation games to iPhone and Android. Ooh, oh. Anyway, but Codemasters, the company recently purchased by Electronic Arts, promises to change this with a new game called Racing Master and coming as a beta to iPhone and Android as soon as this March. It is March, people. It's mid-March. So uh, we could be seeing a new game title, Racing Master, from Codemasters with the EA ownership intended for the Android and iPhones. Exciting times. Super excited. Are you excited? Also at Auto Evolution, a mysterious electric pack DLC is coming to Project Cars 3. We thought Project Cars 3 was dead, didn't we? Or over. I don't know about dead as much as I thought they were pretty much done with that one. Think of the chain of events here, you guys. Slightly Mad gets acquired by uh, Codemasters. And then Codemasters gets acquired by EA. And, you know, when... when I, I know that when Project Cars got purchased that people were outraged. And then there was the question or the conversation. Will they still be an independent developer working within the walls of Codemasters? And I think you had a lot of people who are huge fans of Project Cars, maybe not so much fans of Codemasters, who were like very disappointed. And then you probably had the opposite as well. People who are huge fans of Codemasters who were not huge fans of Project Cars and maybe hoping that Codemasters would, would make these changes that would make it their cup of tea. Well, now you got to go down that trickle down even one more step. Where does this leave Slightly Mad and Project Cars when it's not even the decision making of Codemasters and I know it's all about the mighty dollar but if you were involved in this and you sold things and gave up certain rights and certain had certain coverages or permissions abilities responsibilities and they get changed in that second acquisition man wouldn't that be a kick in the you know what anyway a little bummer uh, what else? Retro, uh, Jalopnik talking about how fans are resurrecting beloved cars from retro games in modern racing sims. <laughs> this is kind of a touchy, this could be a touchy subject that just gets right into, I didn't, I honestly, I didn't read the article. Uh, this is one of those ones, I have the link. If you want to read the full story from Jalopnik, I'll have the link in the description. You can check it out. For me, I'm trying to get this show cleaned up and down to just the right amount of time so that it can be fun, entertaining, Keep you on top of the news, offer great discussion, and at the same time get it done so we can get back to racing. So let's look at some rigs. This was posted at Rick Motech by Ade Coba Lopez, not by, is that Lopez or Ade Coba? I'm sorry, just Ade Coba. I think there are two. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, great cockpit idea. Look at this. Just take an old ladder and just kind of bolt your stuff to it. I don't see what's holding it up so much. Where's the little part that holds the 
ladder open. Anyway, uh, there's a ladder rig. There's a, there's an idea for you. This also took me back down memory lane, but I have to admit, I never had triples back in the days of CRTs. Uh, you think about those three monitors. Those are three, what, 17-inch monitors probably? Maybe 19, but three 17-inch monitors. That's probably 157 pounds of monitors sitting on top of that desk. Anyway, never ran triples back in the day as CRTs, but you could see it could be done way back then. Posted by Bad Nab. When you're waiting for your bucket seat to arrive, but racing is life. <laughs> it's also a sleeping place for cats. Oh, do you see the little kitty down there? There's a kitty snuggled up under the chair. Isn't that awesome, though? Yes, like he said, when life is racing, there's no time to wait on the post office. So there he is, using whatever seat he could fit there. And then this just gets my this just gets my choice for rig of the day, I think. This is just a beauty. This is by Crizzle Colts. Getting close to being finished, the 95 IndyCar Racing Sim. That is a very nice-looking sim. He's got the handbrake. He's got looks like an AIO log shifter. He's got the Carolina Simworks chassis with the little inserts. I'm so jealous of these inserts. Anyone know where I can buy inserts for my 8020? If you do, please send me an email. Sean at the simpit.com. S-H-A-U-N at the simpit.com. I would love to know where to buy these inserts for 8020. I have the little skinny 8020. I don't know if all slots are the same, but gorgeous looking rig. Uh, Jason sent this in or posted in. Nitro Circus is holding an iRacing event called Tic Tac Toe. And this is going to be Tuesdays at 7 p.m., 4 p.m. Pacific time, my time. And watch the streams Twitch TV Nitro Circus. Win three races in a row on the tic-tac-toe board for a chance at prizes. All gas, no brakes. LMP cars take on the world's fastest speedways. Banger across dirt tr street stocks go flying on wild short course tracks. And huge in Japan. Massive Pro 2 trucks. Tricky Japanese road courses featuring iRacing, the world's premier motorsports simulation, on Tuesdays. So I'm not sure how you get involved. I know you can watch it, and you can check it out at twitch.tv. Nitro Circus, coming Tuesday, 4 p.m. my time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And I think that gets us almost to the end. Ah, oh, I want to talk about the finals in the Simpit Dirt Rally League. I'm printing up some trophies as we speak for both the rally and the historic. In the final rally event, it was M. Royzo winning the event slightly over Lash Mom, just a uh, two-second gap between the two. David Clymer finishing in third on that event, and that takes us to the final standings in the series with H.S. Whipperman, a.k.a. Heiko Sherman Whipperman Racing, winning the championship by a 24-point margin over a Barry Batsback, who on the very last event, actually pulled forward and took second place from Alesh Mom from Slovenia, finishing in third. Shout out to David Clymer, finishing in fourth. Dave Blair, danger Dave Blair, finishing in sixth place. And I'm way back there in 19th. I missed a few events this season, so no surprise. I would tell you all about the Simpit Road and Oval Series and what's going on, but iRacing is down. Uh, if you would like to race road racing cars on Sundays, with us do a search for simpit gt3 league we are starting up uh next week i believe i think we have a practice race on sunday and then next week i believe our season begins do a search for simpit gt3 league and send in an application you can join us if you want to run on the oval side of things we're doing a, a development series on thursday nights development row oval series and just do a search for simpit oval series and we will have uh, had a practice race last night I'm not sure if next week is the kickoff of the season or the following week. I was hoping to bring up the schedules for you here, uh, but iRacing failed me this morning. And then that takes me to tomorrow morning, and that pretty much is the end of the show. Tomorrow morning is the official Simpit Patron Trophy Race. Uh, this should be a fun race. We're running an Assetto Corsa again in the BMWs. We were there last week. Had a really, really fun time. A lot of the guys run iRacing primarily, so it's sort of throwing things up in the air for who is going to look strongest and be fastest. But tomorrow, we'll be not only giving away the official Simpit Trophy, but we're going to be doing some backlog on some owed t-shirts to the Simpit Patron Group. It And this is all for our Patron Group. Everything I do is open to the public except for our Patron events, and those are for the guys who help support the show. And if you want to check out our patron program, just go to patron.com forward slash the simpit 
and you can find out how to support the show and how to take part in the patron trophy races and be eligible for things like our, you know, Simpit air freshener. Look, every patron member got a Simpit air freshener. Uh, we periodically are doing bonuses for the group. So you can check that out. Join us. If not, just follow us here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to the show. Find out when our next Pit Stop edition is happening. Find out when our next review is happening. And if you want to watch me race, go ahead and check out Simpit Live on YouTube. And that's where I'll be doing my racing like um well tomorrow morning i'll be right here on the main channel broadcasting that race at 10 a.m as practice i'll go live about 11 o'clock when the racing begins so should be exciting check out the channels and most of all get out there and do some sim racing have a great weekend this is the sim pit i'm sean cole and i'll see you on the track